So today we're going to talk about what makes a professional magazine cover, which it's an, and it's important that you kind of understand this before you start designing your own. Uh, so let's kind of have a look here. And to start with, we'll have a look at some actual, you know, professional magazines. And this is, you know, anytime you're doing a design, it's really important that you look at what other designs look like, right? We learn from looking at professionals who've designed these things. So you can look at all these magazines here and you'll start seeing patterns that emerge. So we're going to break down uh, one of these here for you and then that'll help when you start designing your own. Okay, so let's break it down a little bit. Uh, this is a, uh, a magazine called Men's Health, and I think this was uh, this might be Mr. Martin's before he actually started teaching. Now, when you look at a magazine like this, there's a lot of things going on, but let's kind of break it down. So the very first thing is looking at the title, and you're going to kind of create the title uh, in Photoshop. We don't want you to just take some, you know, an image that somebody's already made. You're going to type it out, and you're going to make it quite large. It should probably be the largest thing on the page, and it's always in the top quarter of the page um, and that's because when magazines get uh, you know displayed in a rack you don't see the whole magazine you typically just see the top so it's really important that that happens now you're also going to want to stylize it that might mean you put a stroke around it maybe you put a bit of a shadow um, you figure out your colors this one there's not a lot of style to but you'll notice in a lot of magazines they do have some amount of style and we do want to see you do that Okay, next thing is going to be the photo. So you need to have a really clear photo, high resolution. Typically, it's kind of waist up. This one's a little lower than that, but it should definitely be a close up. Okay, and you'll notice in almost all magazines, they cut out the person and they actually have them in front of the title. And we want you to do that as well. Now, you don't want to cover so much of the title that you can't even read it anymore, but it should definitely be prominent in front. Now, they've also added a bit of a shadow here, and they've done that in Photoshop, so that's an option. You don't have to, but you might want to. Next thing is the feature article. Obviously, there's articles all over this magazine, and that's what tells you what you're going to read if you buy this. So the feature article is the main one. Now, typically, if there's a person on the cover, the feature article is about them. So being that it's going to be you or a friend of yours on the cover, you might want to have your or their name on it and a little quick write-up about what, why they're on the cover, right? Maybe they're starring in a new movie. Maybe they're an expert skateboarder, whatever. So in this case, the feature article is Everyday Strength, Real Guys, Real workouts, the best fitness gear at every price. You'll notice here that all the text on the left side of the page is aligned to the left, right? And I've just put in those little, uh, that dashed line there to show you. And if you look on the right side, you'll also see that they're right aligned. So that's a really important uh, concept. And we'll use guidelines in the actual lesson to make sure you've done that. This one's really important too, and it's the idea of a color scheme. And every magazine will do this. You will see that it's probably no more than three colors on any magazine. Now, I'm not talking about the image of the person. I'm talking about the text and the shapes. So in this case, in this issue of Men's Health, they are using a black, a red, and a yellow. Okay, and everything is based on that. Okay, they've got some little yellow boxes there. They've got some red text. They've got some black text. And the red text is the same red as the title. So you see that pattern that just kind of emerges. Now, when you put on all your articles here, you want to have what's called variable text sizes. So you don't want to have like, don't just write the name of the article that you come up with and, you know, hit enter a few times and it's all the same font, same, uh, same size. You want to kind of vary it a bit. So this is a great example. It's, it's all caps, but you can see, and it's actually all the same font, but you can see that it says the, and then fittest man is really bold and a little bit bigger. And then it says in the, in the is kind of the same size as the, and then US Army, which is bold and red. Okay, same thing here. Power up your immunity. Still following that, that uh, right alignment here, but they vary the size of the text throughout. And it's just a way to make it a little more interesting. Um, and then finally, what they've done here is they've actually added some uh, what we call unique elements. And this could be, I've seen everything from, you know, little page curls at the bottom, could be boxes, it could be frames. In this case, they've just done little yellow boxes. So it's almost like it's highlighting it just a little bit under there. Then they've done a vertical box there. They've done a little box behind the 500 pounds, the six next gen recovery tips. It just is a way to kind of add a little bit extra. Now there are other elements on every magazine that we're going to get into. It's in the criteria, but to get started, 
This should be enough that you can look at this and say, okay, I understand why they're doing this. And then when you look at other professional magazines, you're going to see that same pattern and that's going to result in your final project where we're going to see that you can apply those principles.